Hi, Hotmail Live and Outlook Mail users. It's Corey Sievers here from the Savvy Team. And I wanted to shoot this quick uh, video just to give you an idea of how to add, you know, how to add emails or domains to your safe sender list, you know, to ensure that they don't get filtered off into the junk email or get bounced from your account altogether. It's really so that you can make sure that you're receiving emails that you have signed up for. So first thing that you wanna do is go to the settings section down to options. And then when you look at the options section, it's obviously full of a number of different things you may or may not know your way around in here, but you're looking for the junk email section. And so you wanna open that up and go to safe senders. So in the safe sender section, this is where you can put either emails or entire domains. So you could put the email that you were receiving email from, you know, like often people send from news or support or, you know, whatever you could no reply, you could put that full email address, or you can just put the domain. So we recommend you simply put the full domain name that you'll be receiving from click plus, and there you have it, you'll just need to hit save. And that now that domain is added to your safe sender list, and you can add other domains, you can add specific email addresses as well. Now another helpful tip is to go into your address book and make sure that the email addresses that you're receiving from are put, you know, are, are also in there. It's just another indicator to the service that you that you want to receive email and that you actively communicate with this particular, the owner of this email address. Now you can use the filtering services in here. You can see filters and reporting and all sorts of things there. The downside of using the filter type of arrangement is that often people filter their emails into a special section and then they forget they added the filter. And so they never see them and they, <laughs> they um, one of the things that we're often receiving questions about regarding email support is I'm no longer getting your emails. And then the person remembered, oh, that's right, I got all tricky and added a filter to put them into a special section or folder. And then you forget about that. So our recommendation is to just have it delivered to your, your main inbox and then be able to read it and file it from there. It's the best way not to miss out on important info and also even um, username and password updates and all that sort of thing. So hope those tips help and uh, we look forward to communicating with you via email.